as T.S. Eliot said, between the idea and the reality falls the shadow, and we spend a lot of time in the shadow area, the process of setting type or making a block, mixing ink, you know, cutting paper, choosing paper. It's, it's not something that can be dignified with the name process. I, I, I don't think it's possible to give an overview because that would imply intent on my part. I'm Rick Allen and I'm a printer. I'm Janelle Miller and I print, I'm a printer at Ken Speckle Letterpress. Janelle started with us as an apprentice. She asked us um, for quite a while if there was anything she could do to help us. And at this point she's become simply invaluable. She's got an attention to detail, you know, and it's something that I fundamentally lack. <laughs> I suppose I have to admit to being a slight bit type A. You watch the layers of color build up as you put one block on top of the next and it's, it is, it's like magic. You get that final block in place and you pull that color and everything comes together and all of a sudden you have this, you know, amazing piece of art. Having her take charge of the printing allows me to sort of step back and make color choices and changes and confuse her and, and make her life a misery while I can indulge you know, every color whim and, and odd thought that occurs to me. Um, I love the methodical kind of thunk of the press as you're you know, hand feeding paper and it's very meditative. Yeah, And you, in some ways you almost need to, especially working with the uh, letterpress machines, is you need to be able to listen for uh, sounds that sound different. They tell you if something's not running right or if it needs oil. I don't think OSHA or anybody would approve of anything that we're doing here. Um, certainly these letterpresses are not OSHA approved unless you're an owner uh, because they're considered to be just too dangerous in the workplace. All the exposed gears and moving parts are not considered to be safe for really any intelligent person or a person who hasn't spent a lot of time around solvents. Duluth is my place. It's, it's a familiar landscape. It has history for me and, and everything that just keeps adding layers of interest and meaning as you grow older and more decrepit. The, the lake is probably the biggest influence. I mean, I live in a house that overlooks the lake, and so I see, every morning I see the sun come up over it, and just the colors that we get here are fascinating. It's a 19th century solution to a 21st century problem, and the print is kind of an accidental byproduct, uh, kind of the effluent that comes out of the pipe of the factory at the end.